Always doing that fish for jarfish. You got a very because jarfish are very small fish and they're very thin. You need a nice whip, whippy rod like that. So any bite will just be a nice hit. There's some ten pound line just to see the bite. And they've got a nice reel. Something really small just for the guards. And what you got when you're fishing for a guard, you can fish off the bottom, but most of the time it's fished for off the float. This is just one I've made up with a bit of cork. You put a skewer through it and cut it. And my dad just made up a little um, bit of wood down there with some holes through it with a drill bit. There's two holes there. And I painted that red so I can see the um, guard bites of a knife. Look what we did. Put your line through there. Straight down. And you put another some there. So now it's sitting like that. Now because guys have got a very small mouth, you just need a little hook, which is here. This is a tiny little size 3 gar hook. Jarvis Walker have made it. That's a very good brand of hook. You put the line through the eye. Nicely. It's still a little blood knot. Straight through. Sorry about the background noise, but it's actually school holidays and everyone's down with their dogs and building doing re renovations on their house. Just pull that through. And see this bit here? You should always cut that off because it's actually going to stop the bait from um, sitting there. Might get caught up in that. Okay, so sit up there nicely like that. And see how that's moving. But you don't want it to do that. You want it to sit in that position so the guard it won't slide down and the hook will come up. So what I do, I just do a little bit of um, plumbing tape. We just get that. Cut off from last time. We just, I just get that and wrap it around there. And that will actually hold the line in position so it won't the float won't be running up and down, but it won't hold it too tight, which is good. So when you want, you can just undo it and slide it up and down. This also actually it helps to see it because it's white and of a night, if you've got like a little light at the back of the boat or off the beach, you can see the tape moving up and down. Then you go, holy oh, gar bite. So you strike it and you pull your gar up. You just cut him off down there. And because if you're using a bit of squid, squid doesn't always sink down or pilch it. It might have an air bubble in it. So what you've got to do then is we cut. You've got this little box. I don't use those clothes for the guards. They're just no good. I don't find I haven't had any luck. Some swivels, some nice little hooks down there, some sinkers. We're after these ones. The little split shot. It's a bit of lead. The people that cut a hole through the centre of it, if you can see that. Just put one there. Then what you do, you put it just here, just so it will weigh your bait down. Then you just pinch that closed. And that won't be that won't won't move up and down. So the first thing that's gonna happen now is that's just gonna go straight to the bottom of that. Which is really good. And when the guy, because the guys have got really small mouths, you only need a tiny little bit of bait. We'll just show you how big a bit of bait you need. When you cut up pilchard or squid, you just go straight down the spine like this. We did it on the other side before. And for a guy, all you need is a tiny little cube. That's all you need because that's really small. And that should just fit on that hook. Because you don't want a big bit so the guards can come up to the side and just nip the edges of it. Sorry about the noise yet again. And the guard will come up and he'll just swallow that straight away and go and you'll be able to hook him. And that is how you set up a guard line. It's really good. You can use this off the pier, you can use this out in the boat, use it anywhere.